everybody. Welcome back. Um, today I've got a custom order journal to share with you all. Um, this is, you know, in keeping with the Nick the Booksmith uh, style journal. Um, so it's about five and three quarter by eight and a half, I think. It's got a big spine on it. This is a five signature, so this is one of the larger journals I've ever made. Um, this is design team project for my porch prints using the butterfly butterfly collage papers love those papers as you probably already gathered I've used those in a couple of projects this month so um, I'll just show you um, let's see it's the journal itself is covered in fabric and then I've aged it with some ink and then I've came through and layered some of the papers onto some cardstock, um, did some stitching, various bits of um, vintage trims, and then a little metal book plate. And it's been named Observation. The closure is Sorry Silk. And we're just going to jump in. Now, I'm not going to pull everything out because, as I said, this is a custom journal, so this has already been sold. But um, I just wanted to share with you. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Um, here I've just done some embossed. Um, it's, I forget the name of this paper, but it's, um, it's a different type of paper. It's not handmade, but I've run that through the machine and then did some inking up so that the embossing came out a little bit more. And then um, just some collaging here. I'll try to give you a, a close-up of it. And then these little uh, words are available in the um, My Porch Prints shop as well. And those are some garden um, words, which I love. I love to have words um, to use. So here I have altered a envelope, window envelope, did some stamping, and um, I've just left it free floating so that it could be moved throughout the journal. And then inside here I did a journal card. So that's been tucked in. And then I put some, um, sorry, another strange angle again with this camera. Ugh. Um, I ran some, um, I've got some lace on it, and then I machine stitched down so you can see that's the close up of that. Um, I printed out this um, kit onto vellum, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So um, if you've got this kit, look at the result of that on vellum. It is just so beautiful. Really happy with how that came out. So if you've got it, um, <clears throat> definitely consider doing that. Let me move that over slightly. Um, various vintage book pages throughout. Another um, handmade tag. Papers have all been tea dyed. Lots of old notebook papers. I ran across uh, several old spiral bound uh, notebooks and they've got beautifully aged paper um, at a car boot so it's awesome because I don't have to even ink those and then like I said just a, a real mix of papers uh, book pages from my stash so um, here's Edith Holden and I've just flipped it so that I could keep the whole page intact um, here just stop. Uh, another piece of paper that I had left over so you've got even more journaling space and that's been tucked in here. A lot of mach machine stitching. Um, the pages I've done are hand torn. Um, this one, another collaged journal card. And this, throughout the journal I've done some pockets that have been backed onto um, baking paper. So it just hangs over slightly, but I love the look of that. So you've got the pocket here and then another big pocket here to add something. That's the center of the signature. Gorgeous papers. Love this. Um, I've started doing these in my journals and I love it. Um, so this is 
going to be another thing that I will be incorporating into all of my journals. I This and the um, altered envelopes, I just love the look of them. So going forward, I've kind of decided those are going to be my signature things um, within um, every journal, I think. Um, this is another... Um, I forgot what these are called, but they're in the My Porch Print shop as well. But she cuts them out, and you can put ac um, yeah, acetate between um, so that they're clear. But I thought this was really cute as just a little flip-out pocket. And so here I've just collaged another little tag. But I absolutely love those. The images are stunning on those. I love how this page came out as well. Um, this is just uh, tea dyed paper that I've stitched around and made created a pocket, but I I did a lot of collaging here um, or layering, you know, various papers to make that uh, tag, and I I just love how it's come out. Yeah, I've kind of been trying to revisit some things that I did in the past that you tend to forget about. Um, within this journal so I dug out a lot of my stamps um, so that was a lot of fun I've really enjoyed making this one I mean I said I love all of my journals but there are some that really just um, stand out to you and this is another one that does for me I um, look at this page I'm so pleased with how that came out this is Edith Holden page obviously and then I've just layered bits and pieces and butterflies from it and I, I think that has just come out beautiful. Some more little, um, these are backed with tea dyed paper but these are just various pieces of um, vintage nature uh, book pages that I just cut out. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. This is another little altered tag. Um, I, I called these the tea bag tags. Uh, I did a tutorial on those so if you're interested, you can check that out. Finally got the chance to use uh, the stamps Nancy sent me. So thank you again, Nancy. Those are gorgeous. Um, I am hoping this week to get those out and really play with them on fabric. Because um, she sparked my creativity with uh, what she sent me in that happy mail. Here I've done some stitching around. This is handmade paper, so I've just left it... Um, within the journal as it was and it didn't need anything doing to it and I love how this has come out. This tag is, I just, I just love it. <laughs> Very um, rustic. So, oh I love this one as well. This is another one of those. Um, clusters that I've created now um, and, and they've all got little vintage buttons sewn within them and I just I think it's so pretty I'm crazy with how, how those have come out this um, is a beautiful book page uh, so I've kept that intact and just trimmed it down so that it would fit <coughs> more um, book page from it's a nature uh, book. So, oh, I love how this has come out as well. This is more of the My Porch Print um, out of that kit for altering the, um, oh gosh, I wish I could remember what this kit's called, but you'll find it in her uh, Stephanie shop. But I created a belly band here, and this has all got um, baking paper, then more of the butterfly collage paper, Oh, that's some thunder. Yay! Oh, I love thunder. Sorry, guys. I, I'm distracted now. We've had a lot of rain here today, but um, the thunder, it's, you rarely hear it here, so that's been amazing. Um, so, anyways, I just created this belly band, and I love that look. As I said, I've really enjoyed creating this. Um, I've put a lot into this journal. I do with all of them, but as I said, some journals just really stand out in your mind. Here I've just done another little double pocket and then stamped that little saying on there. 
And this has just been tucked up into this little collage um, tuck spot there. You can see that. Now those, again, I, I like to have my butterflies so that when you're working on that page, you can see how that looks. I love the look of that. And then it, it's nice because it just flattens back down. So you can see there's a, a lot of writing space. This has got um, over, two, over 250 pages, and I think it's closer to 260. Um, another handmade tag. This is some fabric um, ribbon that I've got that's got that beautiful butterfly design on it. Lots of laces. More book pages. Love that book page. That is such a pretty one. Yeah, I really hope. Um, I really hope that she's happy with it. I. Um, it's always, you know, a little tricky when you're doing a custom order. This is a another one of the pockets. It's like I said, I've backed that onto the um, baking paper, and I just like the look of that. So you got a nice pocket there. But yeah, you're always, you know, anxious to um, for the recipient to receive it and and let you know, you know, that they're happy because no matter how many times we've made journals, you know, it's 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 nice to get feedback from the customers. I that's one of the things I enjoy the most, really, is when somebody's received their journal and they take the time to write and say, oh, you know, I really you know, enjoyed it, and thank you for making it. It just, it makes you feel really, really good. So yeah, this, this journal should last quite a while for somebody who, who uh, journals, because there's a lot of writing space here, and lots of little journal cards tucked in, and um, I, but I try to keep everything, you know, themed around the butterflies and, um, well, primarily butterflies. You know, I've got some floral in here, but I try to keep it mainly the butterflies. Um, here, just other little things that I've made. Tuck those in. I like how that page has come out as well. It's another little flip out. This is from um, my porch prints. It's a, it's from the Wildflower Botanical kit, and I had this left over, and I thought that was really pretty there, so I added that for an additional writing space as well. Just a big mix of book pages um, from my stash. Like I said, I've got so many. Isn't this gorgeous? Absolutely love those pages. And then here I've got another little journal card that's been tucked into that little pocket. Here's another flip out. And there's another tag in a tuck spot there. This is a um, <coughs> Mrs. Cog image. It's a kit from her shop. And I love how this this little pockets come out with the stitching around it. And then this is the last signature. Another little envelope tucked in there. And Edith Holden page again. And some more papers. All of these flip out. So lots of writing space. I love how this has come out. So this is decoupaged, and then I've got another tag tucked inside of there with lots of uh, various <coughs> bits of doily and some a little bit of um, vintage uh, lace as well.
And then here's another little tuck spot that I've created, and I've got a couple of little journal cards just tucked up there. Edith Holden. Some more paper. Another little book page, and then this page. This flips all the way out here, so this is another really big writing space. Lots of uh, machines sewing throughout. Oh, and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And on the back, I've created this little pocket here. So there it is. I just want to share that with you guys really quickly. And uh, I hope that you'll en you've enjoyed that. Um, and I will be back... Uh, very soon with the Create With Me, we've got to finish up our fo free folio. Um, I was still working on that one, so that I'll be back to, um, to carry on with that project. So you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.